Tonight, trying to prevent tragedies. As News 3 reporter Antoinette Delbell tells us, the Suffolk Police Department has a new safety campaign after recent crashes involving trains. It's a race you'll most likely lose when you're up against a fast-moving, powerful train. Thinking they're trying to beat a train, which is always a bad idea. The Suffolk Police Department out with a new message to drivers, taking to social media to remind them to be safe and use common sense around railroad crossings. And we recommend, again, people stay safely back, follow the markings that are on the roadway to stay in your proper distance from that. The PSA comes after Tim Kelly with the city of Suffolk, says they've had an uptick in crashes involving cars and trains in the last three weeks. The latest incident happening Saturday morning where the driver of this SUV suffered serious injuries while the boy in the car was left critically injured. As of Saturday night, my understanding was both were in stable condition. That man charged with reckless driving. This year, Kelly says there have been a total of six car wrecks involving trains, no train derailments and no deaths were reported, but many of the victims suffered serious injuries. In most of the cases, Kelly says drivers were attempting to go around a lowering gate. When the gate comes down, stop. You know, the best, the best philosophy is stop, look, listen when you come to a railroad crossing. This section of track near the police station downtown is where Kelly says there was a fatal collision last December. He says a man was walking his bike too close to the train when he was hit and killed. <laughs> Kelly says trains always have the right of way, and when it comes to stopping, it takes at least 18 football fields of track. It takes approximately a mile or more for a train to stop. So again, it's, it's sort of the theory of, you know, don't think that trains stop on a dime. They don't. Risking your chances against a train could cost you your life. In Suffolk, Antoinette Delvell, News 3.